तो हेर इट इज दिस इज दी ऑल न्यू टी वी एस रॉन सो एज यू कैन सी दिस इज नॉट अ क्रूजर एंड नॉट अ स्क्रैमर एज वेल वेल वॉट टी वी एस इज इट्स अ मिक्स ऑफ बोथ एंड एज यू कैन सी इट इज अ वेरी नीट डिज़ाइन इट लुक्स वेट कूल इट लुक्स वेट कॉम्पैक्ट एंड वील कम टू नो हाउ इट इज टू राइट टू मोरो द रिव्यू गोज लाइव ऑन इलेवेंथ ऑफ जुलाई एट टेन एम बट लेट्स क्विकली गिव यू अ फ्यू डिटेल्स and a quick walk around of the ronin now first things first this is an all new motorcycle so that means it has got an all new chassis and an all new engine now this engine is a 225 cc single cylinder engine it comes with an oil cooler and it produces around 20 bhp and 20 newton meters of torque now uh, in terms of configuration in terms of specifications this has uh, a square engine so that means it has a uh, it has identical bore and stroke which is at uh, 66 mm now uh, this is based on the apache's engine from what i can gather because uh, apache also has the same bore but uh, it has a shorter stroke so uh, this is the main uh, difference in terms of engine performance now uh, coming to the tank uh, coming to the design in fact as you can see it is a very stubby looking motorcycle the tank here uh, is 14 liters and uh, the stance of the motorcycle is also quite cool i i find it uh, of very good quality even but uh, yeah uh, we'll reserve the judgment when we ride the motorcycle now uh, you can see the mirrors are also quite decently um, designed and they look quite cool uh, the attention to detail and everything the switchgear quality is typical tvs that means it's good and uh, what you have here is a very cool looking uh, single pod offset uh, instrument cluster now how it feels on the move well of course we'll tell you later but uh, this also packs for a lot of features and it comes with the two modes for abs that's urban and rain but uh, other than that it packs a lot more info so again we'll discuss uh, this in detail once we get to ride the motorcycle now uh, in terms of other equipment this bike also comes with a slipper clutch as standard and uh, the front forks these are the main highlights these are 41 uh, mm showa bpf forks big piston forks and uh, of course there's a lot of travel and at the front you can see uh, it comes with off road focus tires these are sort of uh, off road bias they have this groove like pattern and uh, this is a 100 section tire uh, short on 17 inch wheels uh, the brake size is uh, the front uh, brake disc is 300 mm and uh, do oh, sorry this one is the mid variant so that means it comes with single channel abs uh, the bike right next to it it is the base version which is called the ss this is uh, start, uh, this is what starts at 1.49 lakh so as you can see it looks a little uh, plain look as compared to that one that's because that's dual tone and this is single tone this is also single channel and uh, it has more or less all the features like this one but uh, again in terms of uh, the design appeal it looks a little plain so uh, it gets everything as well it gets the same engine it uh, gets single channel abs it gets the same instrument cluster as well and uh, similarly everything is uh, identical and i'll also show you the top end variant which has got everything but uh, overall this is the new ronin uh, now uh, coming to the weight and dimensions this has a wheelbase of 1357 mm and the seat height is 795 mm so that should make it quite a lot uh, more accessible to short riders as well and uh, weight wise also it weighs around 160 kg so uh, again like uh, you could expect from tvs it is quite good looking and they have sort of covered all the bases at least on paper now uh, the headlamp the lighting is all led on all models it is standard the uh, led indicators also look cool and it also comes with hazard lights so this is the typical t shaped LED lamps on the top end variant i'm going to show you that in a bit it uh, the whole finish around here it is smoke so we'll see that later but uh, for the time being these are the two variants so this one is 1.49 lakh rupees this is the top end sorry this is the base version and this is the mid variant which is priced at around 1.56 so uh, overall a very cool looking motorcycle and for the time being this is what we can tell you about this motorcycle and yeah i'll quickly uh, go and check the top end variant and give you more details on that So 
as you can see the exhaust has got a bit of a thump and it goes well with the character of the motorcycle so this is the top end variant uh, it comes in two shades this is in the other one uh, but details wise uh, there are some small details here uh, there are some small differences in fact so uh, this one gets connected tech uh, tvs connected tech so you can connect your smartphone uh, through an app and uh, there are a lot of features that you can use other than that it also comes with adjustable levers as you can see this comes with adjustable levers as standard and on top of that this also gets dual channel abs so these are the main functional differences well uh, someone has turned the light on is how it sounds actually so yeah that's about it so uh, this one like i said it has a bit of a smoke defect on the headlamps so overall not much of a difference but this is the priciest of the lot it costs around 1.70 lakh and that is the top end variant so yes you get a lot more for your money uh, another thing i wanted to highlight is the top speed of this motorcycle a couple of viewers are asking uh, is 120 km per hour so you can cruise quite comfortably again we are going to ride this motorcycle tomorrow the review goes live on the 11th of july so stay tuned for more and yeah keep uh, following autoex for more updates Thanks.